In the previous episode, we have added some variety to our town that adds those different structures in the center of a town and changes uh, the prefabs for houses for uh, some of the houses. So we can modify the look our, of our town and add more different structures to it. Now, one issue is what happens if you want to use a building that is larger than one space. So let's tackle this issue right now. Let's stop the game. And we will need to open our structure helper script. So what we need to add here is a list of blocked positions. So below this free estate spots, we are going to add a list of type vector 3 int. And this will be called blocked positions equals new list and what we will do with it we are going to uh, check each free spot that we are ha we have in our free estate spots dictionary and if our blocked positions contain or contains rather the free spot dot key we are going to simply continue. So the big idea is that when we place a structure that requires a larger uh, space, we are going to block those spaces to not be able to place anything else in those spaces. And that's why we need this additional list. Now having that, we can slide down to the space when, uh, which requires our attention, that is the size required is greater than one. So what? how can we figure it out? Well, we know that the size required is the whole size of the building. And it can be two, but it can also be three. So how do you know in which way we should add two additional tiles? Because uh, if the structure is placed at the center of the uh, cell uh, of our map, then it doesn't go two, two squares in one direction, it goes one and a half square if its overall size is three. So we need to calculate var half size. And this half size will be equal to math f dot sail, sail to int our building types i dot size required divided by 2.0 f we need to cast this to be a float because we are dividing an integer by a float and this will give us one point something and we will sail it to int so we will get two out of it so we will block two cells in both directions if we have a three cell size uh, sized building okay so having that what else can we do well we need a list of vector 3 int and we will call it temp positions blocked and let's make it equal to new list of vector 3 ints so we will pass this list as a reference to a newly created method the method will be called uh, in the if statement it will be called verify if building fits Okay, and here this method will return true if there is space to place this building. So we need to pass to it our half size, our free estate spots dictionary to be able to check other spots around this uh, position. We need to pass the position, so free spot, and we can pass the free spot instead of each key and value. And we need to pass as a reference using ref keyword, temp position blocked. And, bec and because this will return true or false, we need to save positions that were uh, possibly blocked inside our temp position blocked list. So let's alt enter this, generate this method, method, and in the implementation, it will be much more clear what we are doing. So let's find this method. Here it is. 
So before we do anything, let's rename some of those variables. So let's reformat it a bit. And we have our three estate spots. We have free spot. Okay, so we do not necessarily need to re refactor the names. Let's delete this throw statement. So what we will need to do here is create a temporary variable vector three in direction equals vector three in zero. So this is the direction that we need to check. Now, if our three spot dot value, which is the direction of the road equals direction dot down or direction uh, three spot dot value equals direction dot up we can say that we want to check direction is equal to vector three int dot right so the idea behind this check if is if the road is up or downwards from this position then we know that we need to move in the direction right or left and so we can add to our position plus uh, direction and minus direction this will allow us to move in both directions and else if the road is on the right or on the left we need to simply set direction to be a new vector 3 and 0, 0, 1 on z axis Okay, so let's create for loop uh, for i equals 0 and we want to check for i equals 1 because 0 is our current position. So i is less than, uh, instead of length, we will need to call half size. Okay, and i++. plus plus. What we need to calculate is var position 1 is simply equal to our uh, three spot dot key which is the position of our current uh, free space and plus direction times i so to the right for example and let's copy the statement this will be the position two and we are going to uh, subtract from this position so we are basically checking, for example, if the direction is to the right, we are checking one position to the right from our current position and one position to the left. And what we need to check is if our uh, isn't equal that our free estate spots contain key position one or it isn't true that free estate spots contain key position 2 so what does it mean we are checking if those are free positions if they are not free then we know that this building doesn't fit so we can return false otherwise we can safely add uh, our temporary positions blocked add position Uh, position one and we can add again position two okay and if every check will be a positive we can return true and perform some further logic so let's find the space when we have called this here it is so what we need to do is first of all we need to call our blocked positions list and call a method called add range which will add all the elements from our temporary position, positions blocked to our blocked positions list because this is most important to not place two structures at the, the same position now what we need to do is copy the code for instantiating the building building spawn prefab we are going to get the prefab the key as the position and rotation and what more we can do is to call for each bar position in our temp position blocked and we are going to call building or our structure dictionary we are going to add position and our building 
So each of the uh, blocked position will point to this structure. And this would be useful if we were going to create a game based on this system and maybe access the structures by checking if the dictionary contains the position that we have clicked. But anyways, it isn't necessary. Just to make it clear uh, that we have placed the building on those cells as well. And again, structures dictionary, add. And actually you have added already the uh, building to our free spot dot key. Okay, so this, uh, that seems to be all. Let's save it. Let's go back to Unity. Okay. And what we will need to do now is to create a, like, a new type. Actually, we can create two new types. So it will be for the total. And what we will have here is we have our the second and uh, third elements to be houses. So we indeed want the house to be as the third or the last element. Now this posed uh, a problem where we want to add more types because we still need to move the house to the last position. So maybe a different structure or an array of scriptable objects uh, and to make those house types uh, or building types a scriptable object would be much better. But let's keep uh, what we got and let's implement this to work as I have shown in the videos. So we are going to move the apartments to be in the second element. So let's choose those two apartments and let's move them to be instead of those house one and house two. Let's change the size to be five, for example, quantity, uh, sorry, size to be one, quantity to be five. And that's great. Now, building one and uh, zero elements, one and zero will be different. So let's uh, change the prefab size to be one. And we have those big structures, which is our uh, hospital building. I have just called it like this. It doesn't resemble hospital very much, but let's say it is a hospital and a main hall. Okay, so those are big buildings. So let's place a main hall uh, first and the hospital second. Uh, the size is one, the quantity is only one, and the size of the main hall is three, and for the hospital it is also three. Okay, so we have those added. Uh, those building types added, we can press play and let's see if we were successful. Okay, and we can see that none other building were placed in those spots. Those spots around those two buildings are clear. And we can see now more clearly that the apartments were shifted only to the one side. Now, this starts looking like a nice town, but it lacks the nature. So we are going to implement the placement of trees in the next video.